All right, everybody. Hey there, my name is Joyce Omondi Waihiga. Welcome back to the second hour of Full Circle with Joyce. Great to have your company as always. And um, indeed, uh, you can catch me here every Monday to Friday from 8 to 10 a.m. Here's what we have in store for you. The second hour of the show we will be going through relationship talk and specifically living with your in-laws. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I bless God for my in-laws. I love them. But I know it's not everybody's cup of tea and not everybody has a great relationship with their in-laws too. And so eh, how do you handle living under the same roof with them? We're going to be having that discussion uh, in just a few moments here. Um, also in this hour, we're going to be learning about the tuba. I don't know if many of you know what sort of instrument that is, um, but our guest in studio or will come be, be coming into studio later to tell us a bit about it and uh, his love for the instrument. And um, so stay tuned for that as well. Double two triple nine is the SMS sign. You can also reach me on social media at Switch TV KE on Instagram at Switch TV Kenya on Facebook and Twitter. And be sure to follow me along at Joy Somondi on those platforms as well. Before we move on and dive into our first segment this hour, let's take a look at our quote for the day. It's by Rupu Kaur and it says, if you were born with the weakness to fall, you were born with the strength to rise. Ooh. Hmm. If you were born with the weakness to fall, you were born with the strength to rise. And I love how even the scripture talks about, you know, us falling down. A righteous man falls seven times and gets back up again. OK, and so um of course, this 2020, I know many people are just feeling, hey, can this year end already? Can things just go back to normal? I think at this point, people even would rather take normal than <laughs> new and different and great. Um, but uh, I just want to encourage you this morning, you know, look for the silver lining in this season. Perhaps there's uh, something that you needed to have been doing things that you should have been pushed towards a while ago that maybe because of fear or anxiety you didn't actually get to do it so don't look at this as umeangushwa and now you're finished and you're over yesterday i shared something that redirection rejection is not is actually redirection if you think about life and if you look at the situations you go through with that perspective in life that rejection is actually redirection into where you're supposed to go you'll be a much happier person you'll be much more content and you'll find much more joy in living life okay life would be boring if we didn't have ups and downs <laughs> all right so think about it that way and be encouraged this morning with that said uh, joining us here in studio we have benjamin zulu who seems to have done some sort of telepathy to color code with me today I know, right? I <laughs> like looking it. good though thank you so much you look good too. thank you thank you you look like a team yeah i know <laughs> i know i'm just i really like that tie and <laughs> okay. I'm a, if someone is getting married after this we're ready we could be the like bridal party i know <laughs> Groomsman and <laughs> grooms, uh, what are they called? <laughs> yeah, the, the, the bad, the maid, yeah. <laughs> huh? Best maid? No? The best man and the best maid. That should be the, yeah. Okay, we'll take it. Gosh, <laughs> it's been a minute since we did this. To I know. Oh. <laughs> we are past that. We are past that. We can advise the young people. <laughs> yes. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Benjamin, so today we want to talk about um, living with your in laws. <sighs> Let me sigh. <laughs> Already? The title is caring. <laughs> even if you love them? Even if they're the bestest people in the world? You know, even if there's a guy who married from a tycoon and the lady and him were employed by the tycoon's business. Yeah. So he, he came to live in the family business where he is married. Uh -huh. So he essentially became hmm, a messenger boy oh, yeah. <laughs> under the father. They are, they are provided for everything, so they're under the roof. And I, that happens just around, I, I have seen so many of that. So I want to say what happens, what causes having to live under the same roof or even the compound? Even the compound? Yes, with in-laws. <laughs> this is negotiating for some people. <laughs> I'm trying to help some people out because I know this is the reality for a lot of people. If you're living in such a way that your chicken can sneak to your mother-in-law's compound, <laughs> that chicken will be the source of conflict. Oh, no. Even if she's a nice woman. Uh -huh. So this is the point. When you find yourself having to live in the same compound with a the mother-in-law, there's a failure of leadership by the man. 
It is the man to determine where his family shall live. And I've told ladies, during dating, don't just say, just just feel butterflies. How Jim makes me feel. How he always called me. In the morning, there's a text. Check where he's taking you. Where will he, Peter, where will, where will you live? Yeah. Because uh, actually interference by in-laws is one of the leading breaking, uh, breakers of uh, stress in families. Mm -hmm. After infidelity and financial conflict is now the in-laws, interference by in-laws. So number one, I want to ask men, and also if you come from a powerful father who has built a business empire from zero. I was about to say, because honestly, when you look at a lot of like super wealthy families, not just here, but even yes. abroad, you know, when they're living in, it's not a house, it's a manor because <laughs> it's that huge then they live in an estate and they have these ginormous houses with like 15 bedrooms you'll find that a lot of times they actually invite their kids back even when they're married and, and to stay in those homes look at even our indian communities here it's it's a family business for the last 200 years Mm. <laughs> you know, it's succession mm -hmm. of business. So I, I, we are talking about, especially the gated communities where you have a compound that is owned by that family. Right. You as a man, when you begin to marry, don't just say, because your dad, many fathers who have built something, they, they begin to think their method is what works. Mm -hmm. And because they build from zero, you are, you are so terrified of destroying what they built. Mm -hmm. Because they're telling you, if you don't behave well, you damage this. And then, no, no, no. So they have become very imposing. I want to ask men to start with having an independent mind that looks almost like defiance. What? I will work for the family, but I must build my own home. Okay. I ask guys to leave Runda and go to Roisambo and get a one bedroom. Mm. Leave that combat this week. Go get your woman and start to up. Start somewhere small. Lead. Lead so that now you can climb in your own. We are not saying you forsake the inheritance. That would be foolishness. Mm -hmm. Surely pick up the financially from where they lived. But socially you need your room. Your woman needs to have her own territory. Women are very territorial. This is not preached common. Mm -hmm. But it is true. Mm -hmm. A woman wants to feel this is my space. Mm -hmm. Nobody's ordering me. At this, there's a family breakfast. There's a family. Every Sunday there's a family. And, and the Mzee must give a speech. Uh, I have been thinking about you can and your wife you did not and, uh, and you david i say the other time and you no that's wrong your woman won't feel like you're in charge they'll feel like you're under another authority mm. so we are saying you can collaborate in terms of business with family but when it comes to social distance mm. go somewhere and create your own space even if it's a, a smaller it's something you have to climb small no problem and what, what one reason with men is that uh, we do not realize how much women conflict when they are forced to stay in the same compound. Mm. Respect brings, I, I mean, uh, for us to remain, respect demands distance. When you are too much into each other's space, yeah. familiarity can breed contempt. This Small differences can eat up. Even when you visit, be very careful. If you visit home for a weekend, you need to be very careful. If you are spending under the same roof for several days or some holiday, don't send your wife and kids, go stay up country with mom, stay there for a month during the holiday. Don't do that. If you do that, organize where the wife will be staying. You can have a home in the compound where she, where it's only for holiday visits. Yeah. But many times I tell guys, sometimes you can allow, in, uh, even if you, you love your mother very much, create distance for purposes of missing each other, for purposes of greeting when you meet in the morning, for purposes of not talking about soap Absence and petty things like toothpaste, petty things like who served <laughs> the uh, food last, left this one, this one, who did not wash this plate. Those small things are the ones that bring a lot of conflict and they wear away the admiration and respect that was there. Interesting. So that is for a guy who let's say, has the choice, all right? And this is about, so far you've, you've spoken about the guy bringing his wife and kids and into his parents' family. I want to family. turn to you women. Yes, I want us to talk about the opposite side of it. Because where maybe it's the lady whose family is super wealthy, they can afford a lot of things, and now the husband of the girl is being brought into the girl's family. It happens too. <laughs> Let me start by announcing, guys, it's better to marry within your social class. It's important. It's always I advisable. Benjamin. It's always advisable so that you can climb together. But I'm not saying you cannot marry upwards. You can marry upwards, but first study the culture, what that means. Because maybe they have rules there. Whoever marries in this family migrates to us. So you end up getting married <laughs> yourself. Literally. So you're brought over. Be very careful as a guy. You lose your power. You lose your mom. You lose your say. Because uh, the, the father decides what car the daughter should drive, decides what clothes, decides where, where, when they should go where. So you, you're just being informed. We decided this way. And you, you, are you a husband really now or are you a puppet? <laughs> so I want to ask guys not to surrender for the purpose of marrying upwards. It's better to, if you marry a girl who is upwards, up, ensure you teach her that you like to build your own empire. 
the, you can be assisted by the family. Surely you can't down, you can't turn down assistance. Yeah. If you, but under what conditions? Never surrender your power. Mm. Never surrender your control, your authority. So I want to warn ladies because sometimes you import your mother because you get birth and culturally she's supposed to take care of your kid for the next one, two, three months mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, do, shave facing north. <laughs> shave the baby <laughs> and draw the hair and see which direction it goes to determine the, the fate of the child and to perform some rituals. <laughs> You, you're funny culture. Please, yeah. you're shouting, you're <laughs> shouting. <laughs> you know, if you have to do some things, I want your mother to visit, not to stay. Because I'm very respectful. I can't tell you, as my wife, uh, ask mom to go back home. Mm. <laughs> because I can't do that. I'm very tired. You can bring friction. I know families that were almost, uh, they were so shaken. So shaken and it was, it, the stress was avoidable. Don't let your mother stay. Let her visit. Okay. The longest is weekend. A week is very long. If you are unwell, hire someone. Can we pay a nurse, please? <laughs> can we can we employ the second house help? Mm -hmm. One for you, another one for baby. Mm -hmm. I don't mind. We can we can stretch and do even me myself. I can I can forfeit going to work to stay with you. Let us have our own space. Don't yeah. import mother-in-law, even if you love her very much. Eh, okay. Eh, um, shout like in his hand, um, shout. Because I've seen it. <laughs> because I have seen the shenanigans, the drama you sour hear. Boss, sour boss, <laughs> sour, shenanigans. <laughs> Quelly, but uh, guys, I want us to take a break. And when we come back, I want us to look at, I know there's a situation where maybe, especially in the, the type of year that we've been, for example, are there situations where it is justifiable? for people to live with their in-laws in your opinion for example with covid i can't <laughs> with covid people have lost incomes maybe things are hard they've decided okay let's take <laughs> benjamin is not feeling this story but let's take a break and we'll be back after this double two triple nine is the best line okay wait wait double two Hey everybody, welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. I'm here with Benjamin Zulu and we're just <laughs> in our own world with our own discussions. But uh, jumping back to our topic here today, we're talking about living with the in-laws. And um, Benjamin has been very clear as far as you know, especially when you're talking about people from different financial backgrounds. Um, very keen to uh, avoid that. Gao may she runda and you've been raised up in runda. If your guy can't afford it, Mohammed Tudor is humble when you start life together. There's something, there is an actual beauty about building together. Now, I want us to look at the other side of this, Benjamin, because it is 2020. It's been a crazy year. A lot of people have lost their incomes. They've lost their, their jobs. Um, things are just not good. Livelihoods have been affected. And for many, they've had to make very tough decisions as far as what to cut back in order to survive. That's like the code word for the year. That's right. So... I believe there are, I, I know some cases where people have moved or maybe even for a time they went back to live with the parents. What do you say about that? Oh my God, that's what I do. Listen to me. But life of 2020. If you, if you have no option moving with a friend because you can afford to lose a friend. <laughs> a friend. You can afford to lose a friend. If friction mm -hmm. comes up, that's a person you can afford to lose. You cannot afford to lose your relatives. I mean, your in-laws. They are in your life to stay. Mm. If you go to that compound, you are risking whatever rapport was remaining between the two of you. And I want to ask you as the guy, if you are the one whose finances have gone haywire, and then you go back to being taken care of, oh my God, you are losing all sort of respect. Where? You'll be ordered around like a child. And I, was, I asked guys, so you better lose money than lose your respect, man. The last thing you want to surrender as a man is your dignity. <clears throat> So if you, if, if you have no option, remove in-laws as options. Remove them as options. You have mm. friends. Move in with, it, uh, with the JMO. Man say, <laughs> things have come. Can we just stay there for a week, man, as we figure things out? Mm. If, if, if your wife and the wife to JMO fight, <laughs> if they end up doing cat fights and chicken fight and whatever, you can fall out with JMO and you can live. It's a loss, but it's not fatal. Yeah. But what if there's a quarrel, a squabble between your wife and your mother? Who do you choose? That's long term. It, it made Abraham feel like dying. <laughs> yeah. There were two women fighting in his house. Yeah. And it was very difficult. I want to ask men to avoid by all circumstances listing, list, going back to your parents, to your, to your in-laws is not part of the rescue mission. No. Yeah. You are going to damage more than any good. Wow. If you have to do it, go back up country, go in with a friend. Friends you can afford to lose in case things go away. You can't afford to lose your in-laws. Okay. It, you're risking your entire family. Wow. 
Hey, okay. So very straight, very real advice there. It's not an option. Despite the difficulty of the season. Um, someone here is saying, hey, you guys are making my day. But the thing is, living with in-laws causes a lot of madness. My apparent in-laws come into my house in the city and behave as if they own the house. Exactly. Stating wamekuja kwa ndugu yao. Exactly. <laughs> Speaking like mad people. So just imagine living with them and they say, hey, hey, Jace, never. your people. Let me mention your people. Who are my people? <laughs> I have people every. I know <laughs> you are. You are, ex, Who you are, are my people? You are an ideal Kenyan because you are everywhere. Me, me, <laughs> but I'm Kenya, talking about I'm... Some, some communities, especially my people from the lake side. They are very communal. Uh -huh. And one lady was married there. And then she see people come in Shemeji. Bedroom looking Sindano. Where's the needle? <laughs> Shemeji. Where? Where's the needle? Shh. Una <laughs> So in case you come from those communal families, communal <laughs> communities that are, the families are integrated. I, I know, I know my, my friend who told me that he sent me two of his sisters, only to realize they're not sisters, they're cousins. They're communities that are so, in, so mm. that even cousins, it's all sisters, so it's all There's together. no cousin. And they live together, they, they live under the same roof today. And that, that is something, yeah, all of them. Wow. And they try to build each other life together. Oh, my sister, this is all of this. No, we are not from the same mother. But you see, our fathers are brothers. So, the Babam Dogo, Babam Kuboa. So, all of them are fathers, all of them. And they don't even realize the difference. So, it's possible you have integrated families. Okay. When it comes time to become a man of your own, you must create distance. Be visiting frequent, but please go back to your home. Okay. Let your woman have a place where she can hang what she wants. In there. She can create, she can customize the house according to her taste. Mm. Without people coming in uninvited, then she has to make more gani, make more food. <laughs> because the brother has come, the other child has come, the other one has come. No. <sighs> Please help. Imagine bro in law Ali Kuja Kuka Kwetu, alafu the next morning, akengia kwa bedroom. To <laughs> hey! Tukiwa tumelala, na hata haku knock mlango and he never apologized. Walolo. That's what I'm talking about. That interference. And I want to ask women to be very firm. When you see a, a child, a person from my side, call me aside and say, how many days are they to be here? Mm. It's not out of hatred, but out of practi practicality. Mm. We already agreed. And those are some of the constitutions you need to be writing. And in case you had married and then, then, then 10 years down the line, the marriage, 20 years, life changes. Some things change. A person dies, maybe daddy dies and mom is lonely now. Or something happens. And we are discussing how to help mom. Oh, mom needs treatment. She mm. needs to stay somewhere for treatment. I always recommend you better rent somewhere and get somebody to stay with mom where you can be visiting her, even if it's daily. Wow. Than keeping her here. I... In car more expenses to find, you can have a compound and there's a house somewhere. Because mm. every day waking up there, sometimes we're having our own quarrels. Mm. How will, now mom hears us quarreling. Mom will see the inner side. Never show the, the soft chink in your armor, man. You see, man, there's a way I'm viewed by my in-laws. Mm -hmm. Of course, a more elevated picture, which my wife in her grace has created. <laughs> In her grace. In her grace. And, you know, <laughs> built a picture for me, you know. And I've also done the same among my people. Yeah. And shown how she, she's an angel. She's half angel, half human. Yeah. She's just nice, you know. <laughs> and now when they come inside, they will see another side, less yeah. ideal. But she, we can be, we can go without talking for some days. <laughs> you know, we can quarrel. We can, they, they will see things and then we damage our reputation. Wow. And in this world, reputation is everything. Okay. Never damage your reputation, Joyce, among your relatives. Go there in your life to stay. That's yeah. the problem. Yeah, yeah. If, you have, if your friend sees the other side of you, you can mm -hmm. easily cut them off. But you can't cut off your in-laws. So by, by no means will you allow your in-laws to stay. They can visit on a weekend. Well, you know, Nancy from Limuru here is saying, okay, and it's, you've already alluded to the situation, but she's saying, I'm asking about a situation where mom-in-law is a widow, past 60 years, can't do much for her, herself, na anashida zamwili. She can't move in to be better taken <laughs> care of. Pay help, pay nurses. I, I tried. <laughs> I, I really tried, Nancy, from Libro. I've, I've, I've tried. <laughs> Moving in is X. Do you guys X, agree X. with this? I don't, I, anyway, okay. Okay, Benjamin. Yo, is it really time we fung and we casa san amani ni ni ukuju? Joyce, every day I hear cases where, and you see, we are not saying moms are bad. We are saying it's the nature of being too close to each other, seeing you too closely. It's that friction of living day to day. You see, living to day to day, Joyce, we are not always polished. We are not always in suits. At home, and now I have to be careful because mom is around. I can't even come from bedroom to sit in because mom is there. I was in my shop. And this one goes and you always divert. This is my house, but mine was around. I have to be careful. 
Sometimes I just want to misbehave and be myself. Now I have to be on my guard at home and outside the home. No wonder men are spending time in the club, coming home at night Oy. after the women have slept because there are too many of them at home. <laughs> Jamie. Don't make my home an assembly of your relatives. Please let it be my private space where I can hide away from cameras, away from the world. I can just be me. There's a side of me. I just want to be relaxed, not always be careful, proper. Pressure, Lord, pressure. today I was thinking about Bruce and Paul. There comes a time oh, to you just yourself. But if mom is around, I have to be careful. When you bring mom, you have to bring another caregiver. Now we are going, we are coming home. Actually, that's how people drift around, drift yeah. apart. Because now we can't play, can't bring flowers. We have to confine our romance to the bedroom. <laughs> Unless we have eight bedroom house. And if you can afford eight bedroom house, you can afford two bedroom, three different houses. <laughs> okay, so I want to ask here. So what about our eight days discussion is lit. Benjamin Zulu, please have your preferred drink kwa biliangu. That's rest <laughs> from high rise. <laughs> oh my. Okay. Someone says living with in-laws should be avoided as much as possible. The Bible says a man leaves his father's home to marry for a good reason. Uh, someone here is saying, hey Joyce, I'm enjoying the show. My husband is the last born and we live in the same house with mom. We mm. conflict a lot with mom-in-law, but my husband says he can't leave his mom because he's the last born. I'm so stressed. Well, hello, I'm talking to our mom. Are we? Force him to choose between the mom and you. Ah? He may be careful. Yes. Because you are going to have to live under conflict constantly, as it is now. Or simply you yourself, if you're working, get a, set up a home. You yourself, do it. <laughs> Sit up at home and say, by the way, from today, that is our house. You can come or you can live here. <laughs> at the moment, Yes. <laughs> Go rent a small house somewhere, furnish it, and put the picture of the two of you on the wall. <laughs> this is our family home. My husband is visiting with the mother and he will be back. Then my great here, challenge him to join you or stay with the mother. And if he doesn't join you, guess what? He already he can see the writing on the wall. You are able to do things. Don't have a husband who is a honorary husband. <laughs> Already is married to his mother. You're just a wife by, by name. To bear children. Oy. And the mother is the real woman in the house. You're being ordered around by the daughter. Do you know there's a difference in being married or being adopted as a daughter? Mm. Uh, were you married as a wife or were you adopted by this woman? Mm. And then you are the puppet. They are being told, I say this in my house. I say in my house. So where is your house? This is a house? Mm, mm. No. As women be assertive. Please. <sighs> Mar Marriage is only worth it when it's advancing your life. It's fulfilling. Sure. It's moving you forward. It's not captivity. We are in a free world. Hello? <laughs> don't be a slave in the name of marriage. <laughs> if you don't marry, you won't choke. You won't die. Challenge this guy to shape up. To shape up or shape out. Jameni. <laughs> <clears throat> Someone here is asking, Ati, I think you guys should also talk about the fathers in law that show sexual advant advances to their daughters in law. Guy, okay, that and alone is a reason just not to because there are some people who can't control themselves, but that's really sick too. This is it's very sick. And just we said perversion is so prevalent in this world that we cannot spend enough time talking about those men who are perverse. Judas slept with a daughter in law and she had hidden her face and he did not want to know the face of the woman he's about to sleep with. Mm. So we have heard men from history who are always after that one thing from the old testament. So that we are you're not announcing breaking news <laughs> that there are men who are who will desire any scat mm. <laughs> be old or young, <laughs> you know. The thing he has to tell the lady, create your own boundaries so that by the time he makes any advances, you make it such a big deal that he will never try again. Okay, but that alone should be a reason. And I think people know, you know from your relations with them, like if they look at you a certain way, like their eyes linger too long or they make you feel uncomfortable, you certainly do not want to be living in the same house right. with them. Absolutely not. Okay. Hey, good, mo <laughs> good morning, Joyce and Benjamin. Benjamin, I'm Achilles. You're... Suti, uh, you Thank guys are you. looking great. Uh, Joyce, living with in-laws, Atakama Nawapenda Ajay is a no. Uh, you as a woman will be limited to do a lot of things. Alafu, ipateyo boma ikona madem is a blamba. I the think they mean is a blunder. Mm. Um, case closed. <laughs> thank you for thank you for that as well. Um, wow. Okay. Uh, Continuing with the SMSs coming in here as well. Remember, double two triple nine is the SMS line. Um, 
John, 24 years, lost his job thinking of going to stay with his cousin for some time. Is it true I will lose reputation? No, if he is not married, you know, if he is 24, I hope he is not married. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when, you are, when, you are, when you are single, you have free electron. <laughs> you can chip in. Your, your clothes are in a paper bag. They're just few, three pieces. It's a small suitcase. It's just it's in sneaking. With J. Moore, stay three days. Then sneak in with J. With John. Sneak in with Davy. You can weather the storm. By the way, guys, don't marry before you can carry your own weight. Why are you carrying a woman when you're already staggering on your own? <laughs> don't bring in weight, surely. First, steady yourself. In horse riding, the first rule is before you try to steady the horse, first, steady, steady yourself. yourself. So I hope 24 year old guys are not really are not rushing to marrying, and I tell guys to wait until they are 30. There are some silent whispers by my cameraman. <laughs> Men, don't rush into the marriage is expensive. Oh, I can tell you from inside. Take mm -hmm. a while. Get get some shoes, man. Get some. Be sure you're able to pay uh, to pay for the hair. That hair sometimes costs like rent. Those are two rents. <laughs> The hair, the nails, and oh, the lipstick. No. <laughs> the Toto is another house. <laughs> Before COVID-19, I went to visit my in-laws, which was my husband's decision anyway. I was one month old after delivering, I guess, their baby. It's a long story, but because of lockdown, we ended up staying for three months. Why? The relationship ended. I'm now single. The mill was, the mom, I guess, was so controlling, including her own husband. I'm so mad. I went to Nairobi to visit. By the way, they're rich and I'm not that well off exactly Boy, now there's a baby now that's too. a demonstration thank you for reading that's what people don't think i'm blowing things out of proportion mm -hmm. you can a marriage that doing was doing perfectly well when you went to stay three months 90 days you're done the marriage is gone and there's a baby imagine now the girl had just delivered she didn't care she needed don't move in with in-laws even if it's covid out of what move in with the friends so his story, okay, especially when now, you know, and you said some cultures, especially when I let me, I know some friends were little more called Chamge, <laughs> hello, <laughs> uh, for like three months, six months after a baby is born, you just, you say that's a no-no? If they're to come and no. well, could you visit two over the weekends now, Arudi? Joyce, if you are sent home three months, how will do uh, full circle for us? You see, you also have a career, Joyce. <laughs> You also have a life to live. You're That's not, the reason, you're not yes. This guy's puppet. <laughs> you have when you get married, you don't become a slave. You also have a choice. <sighs> you also have a life. Don't be dumped somewhere. Decisions are being made for you <laughs> and being, being told what you are. No, have a say. You are an adult. Hey, your husband doesn't own you. He's your husband, but he's not your God. Aki Lazima Nikusome Jatamin Meshtuka. Hey. Imagine with me, I've already lost two of them, that sister-in-laws, simply because one of them was trying to force my baby to suckle her. I'm not surprised. I am not and surprised. And I couldn't take it anymore because I had seen her do it several times. And she's the kind of girl that goes around sleeping with men. So I was so afraid for my baby. I had to gather courage and confront her. And now she doesn't talk to me, including one of her other sisters that she recruited against me. But thank God we don't live together. We only visit once. Thank you. So Aye. you can hear that than God at the end. Some <laughs> people have perversions. Some people have their own inter... They just lack conscience. And if you allow them into your space, they'll mess up. So I want to ask people, do that. Don't live together. That distance creates peace. Ah, Mungina Nasema, okay. Um... I, I love this show. Benjamin is so exuberant as usual. <laughs> As from the culture I come from, the last born man has to stay with the parents. Again, these are our parents and we love them. So it becomes hard to push them away from us. And this is, is a very African response to this question because it's true. We're taught to really value and honor our parents, especially when you've grown up and you're done, now you're supposed to go and take care of them. What is your response to this one? Here? I also have a last born brother <clears throat> and I told him, man, you know, you're going to stay here with mom. Start, we are going to plant trees for you. We are planting for mom, but I want you to be involved because we are planting for you by extension. Uh -huh. We are doing everything, fruit trees, but this is your compound, man. Does it mean same roof? It means generally the same area. And it, it's important to have a, a division of some sort mm. so that your chicken have their own compound that you can lead your own life. You can live by another gate and come back because mom will start monitoring you. Yeah. You came, you left eight, I noticed, and you came, even yesterday you came past me. What is the problem nowadays? This girl is not coming home. <laughs> you need, because mom is coming from another generation, where women and chicken had to be home by sunset. <laughs> this girl has her own career. 
So you need your own gate, your own compound. You stay around to take care of mom, but you do not have, have share the same roof. Yeah. Well, hey, Benjamin, so you've made my day. Wow. Please, how can people find you? <laughs> Facebook page, Benjamin Zulu KE. Uh, uh, all other places, uh, Benjamin Zulu KE. Email Benjamin Zulu KE at Gmail. Also YouTube and also website Benjamin Zulu KE at, at .com. Okay. So final word, under no circumstances should you be living with your in-laws. Under no circumstances should you live with your in-laws. Let them visit, don't let them stay. Even you, when you visit, let it be a weekend, the longest, mm. and then come back. That way you maintain respect. All if right. you, if worse comes to us, you better pitch camp with your friends, never in-laws. Yeah. Wow. Benjamin Asante Sana, as always, do appreciate you. I hope you guys enjoyed that discussion. And you can continue sending in your feedback to double two triple nine. Right now, though, we're going to take a break as we get ready for our final segment of the day. We're going to be uh, diving into an instrument known as the tuba. And stay tuned. Our guest is here and he'll be joining us next. <laughs>